Hey, my name's Josh and today I'm going to show you how you can schedule messages in Slack using the extension from slackscheduler.com. So the simplest way to do this is to use forward slash schedule followed by the message, which I'm going to do uh, visit slackscheduler.com. And I'm going to set the time of 30 seconds in the future. So I've got the message itself and the time that I want to schedule this in. Cool, so there's no errors and it gives me some feedback here. Uh, the time zone, when it's going to be posted and the message itself along with the message ID. So that's good if you want to schedule something really simple and you can do things like, you know, hello in five weeks or hello in six days. There's a whole bunch of options that, list, uh, that we've listed on our website to make it easy for you. But what if I want to schedule something for someone in Canada, for example? Doing the mental arithmetic to work backwards in time zone isn't very um, you know, user friendly. So we've got a new feature now where if you just type slash schedule, you have all the options here to go in more depth. So you can set a message with up to 3000 characters. You can specify a really exact hour. Um, I'll put the message of hello to keep things simple. You can specify the minute. So if you have messages that need to be sent throughout the hour on the minute, um, you can specify the date and the August and all of this is going to error check for you. So you, it knows that um, you know, you're not going to send something on the 32nd of August, for example. Um, and then the really exciting thing here is obviously the time zone. So if I want to send something to Canada Eastern time, um, it's going to send it um, Eastern time Canada at 11 p.m. or 11.05 rather on the 30th, 30th of August. The final two options here are the channel and the user. Uh, if you don't specify either of these, then it's just going to default to the current channel or the current direct message that you're in. Um, but these are pre-populated with your existing channels and your existing users. So you can search for any channel you like, click on it and it'll update for you. Cool, so I'm gonna schedule that and hopefully we have no errors. Yep, so it's going to uh, give me the time zone, when it's going to be posted at, um, and the message itself. And we can see our original message came through here. Um, the URL works, it came from my own profile, so it wasn't sent from a bot or anything like that, which is really cool. Cool, so what if I wanna see all the messages that I've scheduled? That's really simple using, again, the slash schedule list function. That's going to get all the messages that I have scheduled um, and show them here. So I currently have two. Um, if I want to delete one of these, similar way, I use schedule, delete, and I have a few options. Um, I'm going to use the last command to delete the last uh, message that I scheduled. Cool, and it gives me some feedback that the message was deleted. Um, so just to double check, schedule list. Yep, and I only have one message now. So when deleting messages, you have a few options. You can use schedule delete last, you can use schedule delete all, or you can use schedule delete followed by a message ID. So I'm gonna grab this message ID, post it here. And now if we check, how many messages we have uh, scheduled. We've got no more scheduled messages. Cool, so that's how you can schedule messages in Slack using the Slack scheduler extension, uh, www.slackscheduler.com. Uh, we have a full help docs on our website, including what are the functions that you can use, what are the times that you can use, um, and what are some tricks for getting started and making the most of this. Thanks.